Hello, sports fans. I mean, sports marketers. Uh, welcome to Tagada's League of Extraordinary Marketers for Sports Marketing. I'm Jason Semenik, and I'm a senior marketing strategy lead here at Tagrida. Uh, I focus on sports and entertainment and content strategy. Um, and I'm going to be joined again today by Jesse Noby, our senior technology lead here at Tagrida. And today we're going to talk about form spam. We'll jump right into the presentation part. Um, so we're, today we're talking, as I mentioned, about form spam. Um, I think, Jesse, you and I have both probably seen a lot of this recently. I don't know if it's just that time of the year or if, um, you know, the, the spammers are getting back to work after, after getting their vaccines and all fixed up with COVID. So, um, but I've seen a lot more form spam recently. And so I'm just going to talk a little bit about the background side of things. Um, and uh, then Jesse will come in with a much more technical side of things. And we also got some time set aside at the end of this call to do Q&A. So, uh, well, we've got a packed, action-packed uh, agenda for today. So let's jump right into the strategy side of things. So um, I titled this, Why I Hate Form Spam. And uh, <laughs> it's not just an annoyance, really. You know, form spam is really any form of a fake form submission, either manually fake ones or by a spam bot. And at best, it results in just bogus form submits, no big deal. But at worst, it could really open up your business to a full on cyber attack. It can shut down websites. It can allow uh, hackers to gain entry into your systems. Uh, people can steal data. They can insert code onto your websites. There's a lot of really dangerous things that can happen as a result of form spam. And so it's important that we really do address the issue if you become a target of, of a, an attack. And so it's more than just an annoyance, it's super annoying. And um, besides getting on your nerves, a few of the other things that you're going to realize once, the, once you get hit by a form spam attack is that it really wastes a lot of time. Um, it sucks up your resources. You might have to manually review all of the form submissions before forwarding them on to the right department. Uh, you might need to, um, you might end up with bogus records in your pipeline, which will affect your results because those bogus records are never going to convert. And so your conversion rates are going to go down. Um, you might end up crossing a, a threshold and have to pay for it. So if you're on a free, or a low volume paid plan, uh, some of those have limits on the number of form submissions you can receive or the number of contacts that you can have in your database. And if you get hit by a spam attack, you could easily cross that threshold and be out of pocket. It could hit you in the pocketbook. Um, and I think one of the worst things, I guess the two worst things that I've kind of saved for last um, the worst thing is, is that it, it really um, affects the customer experience. You've got legitimate form submits that are coming in along with all of those spam, uh, spam submissions. And those legitimate submits may get lost in the mess. Um, or as I like to say, you might throw out the baby with the bathwater. So you're cleaning up all of your results. You may not realize that there's actually some legitimate questions from your clients in there. And so you ignore them. And uh, suddenly your clients feel like they are being ignored. They're missing information. You're not interested in having them as a client. And that's just a downhill slippery slope. Um, nobody wants that to happen. The other big thing that could happen is um, the fake records could ultimately affect your brand reputation and your deliverability. If you've got a whole bunch of fake records in your database that you haven't cleaned up, and you constantly attempt to send to those emails, you're going to be hit with um, a, a blacklist for your deliverability. There's no doubt about it. Um, and so this is really important to take care of as soon as it happens. So I'm going to throw up a quick poll here. I'm just really curious to find out um, from everybody. Um, what have you actually been hit by a form spam attack? And so I've got this up on screen right now. Hopefully everybody can see that. Um, we'll let people vote here. 
Um, so yeah, it's it's a. I think you know a lot of organizations have had uh, have been hit before, um, and a lot of people don't even know it's happening. And I've got a little story to tell after the vote here. Um, we'll give people just a few more minutes to vote. Um, yeah, a lot of people. It's hard to tell uh, if there's actually a, an attack going on unless you're very closely monitoring the results of your forms. Uh, I know a lot of our clients. They get notification emails every time there's a form submission and so those folks they're going to know right away if they've been hit by uh by an attack because the volume of emails that they get is going to skyrocket um, but then there's other people who only run monthly reports and or or less often than that even on their form submissions and so they may never know that they're being hit by by an actual attack all right i'm going to end up the voting here and share the results all right, and so we had most people aren't sure if they've uh, if they've actually been hit by a by a spam attack, and so and one person has said yes, and so I'd be interested to hear from that one person later on if uh, what what happened as a result of that. Um, all right, so I'm going to stop sharing these results here. Go back to our presentation, um, and so. I've got a little story. I've got a, this happened recently with a client and it's, it's kind of what led to the, the idea behind this presentation this week. Let me know if this sounds familiar. I had a client come to me with a suspected reporting issue. Their form submissions report showed that they were getting over 12,000 form submissions a month, which was great news for the business. They were super excited about this. However, their database of opt-in records was only growing at you know, less than a thousand uh, records per month. And so they came to me with the idea that surely something was wrong with the reporting. Um, we weren't capturing all of the new records coming into the database and so can you fix the reports? So I trotted off away and started to do an investigation and sure enough, it was discovered that the contact us form for this client was actually the target of an ongoing spam bot attack. Every day at around 1.30 p.m. in the afternoon Eastern time, over the course of just a few minutes, there were between 250 and 400 form submissions. Every day for months, this happened. Um, at any other time of the day, they would only see maybe, maybe a few submissions per hour max. And nobody noticed that this was going on. So I had the unfortunate job of going back to the client to break it to them that no, the, uh, the number of opt-in contacts, unfortunately, was only growing by a few hundred records per month, not 12,000 per month. Luckily for them, they had a compliance program set up, which required contacts to opt in, to double opt in. And so they needed to confirm their email address. And so luckily, because these spam um, email addresses never followed through on the compliance side of things, those records were filtered out of their database. They were never put into their opt in database, but they still had these bogus records in their account. Um, and so the client had to take some important steps to first clean up their database and then prevent the new spam results from coming in. Um, remember that you can always see past user group sessions and the recordings um, will be up for this for this week starting next week at activate.tegrita.com slash sports dash entertainment. There's the link at the bottom there. Thanks, Jess. Um, and so, yeah, we look forward to seeing you next time. Thanks, everybody, for your participation and hope that you don't ha have any issues with forms. And then for those teams that are going into playoffs soon, good luck in the playoffs.